If you're an animal, whether a fly, a worm, or a human, you face the problem of how to protect your germline from transposons and other harmful DNA elements. If left unchecked, transposable elements may replicate and reinsert themselves into random places in the genome with disastrous consequences for the organism. In animals, small RNAs named pi RNAs, because of their association with proteins called peewees, target transposons for silencing and thus protect the germline. Paramecium is a species of ciliate, single-celled protozoa that live all over the world wherever there's water, oceans, lakes, ponds, even inside other organisms. Like all ciliates, Paramecia separate their germline from their soma by having two nuclei in the same cell. During sexual development, a new somatic nucleus is formed from a germline nucleus, while the old one is degraded. During this process, transposons and ancient transposon-derived sequences called IESs are actually deleted from the genome, rather than simply being silenced like in animal cells. At the same time, the genome is amplified hundreds of times to cope with the requirements of these unusually large cells. The focus of our study was a class of small peewee-associated RNAs expressed during paramecium development. These RNAs are called IES RNAs because they mapped the transposon-derived sequences called IESs. So, remember the paramecium development, where all these IESs have to be deleted at the same time that the genome is amplified. For clarity, let's make these IESs all different colours here, and let's remove the peewee proteins for simplicity. Good. Now, IES RNAs are part of a feedback loop in which initial excision of IESs leads to small RNA production, and the small RNAs then target IESs in the amplifying genome for further excision. We were interested in the production of these IES RNAs. They're known to be disolike enzyme products, which means they're formed from double-stranded RNA templates. However, where they come from, how they're transcribed, was unknown. In this study, we show that IES RNA templates are directly transcribed from excised pieces of DNA. This demonstrates that deleted DNA can have an active and important function in a cell, rather than just being rubbish to be degraded, and this could apply to other organisms too. However, this discovery led to an interesting conundrum. IESs, the sequences that are deleted from the genome and then transcribed to form IES RNAs, are usually too short to be transcribed, Indeed, their most common length is only 27 base pairs, which is far too small for an RNA polymerase complex to assemble on. How can IES RNA templates be transcribed from such tiny DNA fragments? We show that the cell overcomes this problem through a remarkable mechanism. Upon excision, IESs are stitched together end on end in a random order, forming long chains of DNA segments. These chains are then circularized. Circular DNA can be transcribed continuously, forming many small RNAs from each excised DNA segment. In summary, we've shown that deleted DNA, previously thought of as junk, is actively involved in a developmental pathway in paramecium. We demonstrate a logistical problem for which evolution has come up with an elegant solution, confirming that life always finds a way.